Why do you want to work out? What is your goal? The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. Because without that vision and without that goal, again, you're drifting around and you're never going to end up anywhere. People don't become successful just by accident. So you got to really have a specific goal. And to me, to have that vision that I want to be Mr. Universe, that I want to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time. Wise Good People it is now summer shredding 2019 and this is the physique we're looking at after the lean bulk. We started bulking around seven months ago and this is me right now. Yeah, 180 pounds right now and decent lighting right in front of the window and right now we've almost jumped ahead because I've been cutting out for at least the last two weeks properly in terms of just not eating in excess like a bulk. Uh, my bulk officially ended the, uh, the 3rd of March and I've got clips in the video that I'm going to show you. I'll probably put some on screen now uh, just to show you because a lot of people when they see that clip they're definitely going to be like, oh my god, TJ, you've gained way too much belly fat. Oh no! Uh, so stay tuned for the rest of the vlog because I go in more detail over it. Because as I said, I've been cutting for the last two weeks and I did vlog it. I just wanted to jump in front and speak to you guys for a bit and then we'll carry on with the rest of the vlog. Uh, what I want to say is that we've also got, just like last year, I'm going to do a free guide on my website. I made a complete cutting guide. It's like 20 pages long. And what I'm going to do is give you guys a free discount code. And it also includes a routine as well you can follow. Some of you are going to be saying, how do you even get the free guide? See, that's the tricky bit. So this is how I, pr I weed out like the loyals. For those of you that actually like want to keep up with the channel and want to be informed, at some point in this video, I'm not going to say when, the code's going to pop up on the screen and basically, when that code pops up, pause the video, click the link in the description box and obviously, you can get and get the free guide. So what it's going to be is, the first 50 people that use that code will get the guide for free. After that, I'm just going to change the code and revert it back to 50% discount. So for those of you that may be a bit lower or slower on getting to the vlogs, you will obviously still be able to benefit from it but you're not gonna get it completely free if you're new to this channel we also do free giveaways here and there so we got a whole bunch of my protein stuff that throughout this cutting season summer shredding vibes we will be giving away free stuff on the channel so stay tuned and follow me on instagram to take part and for those of you joining summer shredding as well for like the christian guzman thing or you're just doing cutting in general because it's that time of year stay tuned for the channel we're gonna have loads of resources on it and we're gonna go in super super depth and we're gonna get super super lean and if you have any questions always drop them in the question box or follow me on instagram you can dm me but yeah man we're about to get lit i can't wait to get lean i'm gonna show you many clips of last year and i'm more or less in this video going to go in detail on one not being afraid to bulk because a lot of people try and do their cuts way too early if you're a beginner you should not be cutting because you're gonna look like a skeleton you need to take time to actually put in the effort to build muscle and we'll speak about that in the video as well and I also show you the comparisons of when I bulk up and gain some belly fat compared to when I actually lean down and do I think it's worth it in XYZ so yeah, your boy's about to go to the gym, got my pre-workout and all that stuff. Uh, that was the strawberry kiwi flavor. I would say that I'm a, not a massive fan of that flavor. It tastes okay if you mix it with something else. Links in the description box for any of my protein stuff. Um, a quick tip for those of you that are starting this journey. At the beginning of the cup, you're gonna notice that you're probably gonna drop weight pretty rapidly. Just remember that that's just weight. So when I say that, it's more uh, like water weight. It's not really like fat. So don't think in the first few weeks, like I said, I'm four pounds lighter now. That was on four pounds of fat drop that quick. That's not how it works. When you finish your bulk and you transition into a cut, you're going to notice that the, the jump is pretty quick in weight. And that's just because it's water weight that's on your body. When you stop eating as much higher calorie foods, you're going to have less sodium. So you, you're just going to be less spiking. So your weight's going to trickle down. You'll soon notice that as the weeks go by, the, the weight loss is going to be very gradual. So my aim initially is to get down maybe, it's probably going to be like a pound, pound and a half per a week um but in the first few weeks it always is a big jump i plan to make this cutting season and this whole year of cutting to be very raw videos but at the same time i want to be able to make it entertaining as well so i want the videos to be raw so i can actually talk to you guys as well and give you guys full-on tips rather than me just doing fancy edits um before i go to the gym let me just say for those of you out there that's maybe starting to cut for the first time and you're initially thinking oh i'm gonna aim to lose 30 pounds that's not how it works when you're, if you're a first time cutter, you don't know what your proper lean weight is if you've been building muscle this whole time. So if I was you, I would base it off the pictures. Just keep taking pictures as you, as you lose weight over the weeks. And when you finally look in the mirror and see a picture and you look pretty good, that is your lean weight. Don't aim for a number. Me now, because I've cut so many times and I've recorded and documented 
my lean weight, I know roughly that when I cut this time, it's gonna be around the 160s marker. That's my leanish weight. It may be 163 this year, but I kind of know. If you're a first time cutter, you can't be that specific with it with the number. Don't go in there going, TJ lost 30 pounds, so I've got to lose 30 pounds. That's not how it works. You may only have to lose like 10 pounds or 20 pounds. It depends on your starting point. <laughs> my stomach is killing me. I'm trying to make sure my abs get blocky. For those of you who have seen me uh, like topless, you'll know that even when I'm at a high body fat, the top four abs usually can still be seen. And that just comes from adding weights into the training, man. Weighted ab exercise are the way forward. And you should always train abs. Some people always ask me, should you even train abs during a bulk? Of course you should. Like imagine someone saying to you during a bulk, don't train your arms or don't train your chest. At the end of the day, a muscle is a muscle. If you want it to get bigger and get more defined, you got to like train it during throughout the year. All right, peeps, we are back in the vehicle. But yeah, that was more or less the session. I say more or less quite a lot, so get used to that on the channel. But yeah, it was a really good session. Uh, that pre-workout kicked in like a bitch. That's the full time, actually, the full scoop of that pre-workout. Because I normally train at, at night, so I normally, well, most days of the week. So I normally only don't, don't need the full dosage, but that was a lot. But boy... I still feel pumped. I could go back in the gym and stay in there for like another half an hour, but I got things to do. Anyways, we're gonna cut now to bulk TJ and kind of show you the physique then. And also I'm gonna talk about loads of tips. So we'll take it away now, back to March 3rd. This is me at 184 pounds as my morning weight, and that is the way I'm ending the bulk at. I have literally not been this heavy. Three years, that was 2016 when I did the super dirty bulk when I got to this weight. But I will say back then, when I was this heavy, I looked way fatter. Uh, so yeah, to, to be honest, yeah, I look bloated, but when you gain 24 pounds, I'm not surprised. But I'm just happy that when I look at this, 184 pounds, my body at proportion looks better, which means I've gained more muscle over that period, which is pretty good. Looking forward to shedding down the fat, and I'm going to try and get down to at least 160, hopefully 158, if I can push it that far. Oi. Yeah, I'm bringing the little camera, the Canon G7X, the throwback camera. Anyway, the clips you just saw was probably me, the high body fat. And some of you there are probably sitting at home thinking, TJ, you let yourself go. How did you gain so much body fat during this lean bulk and whatever? In honesty, let me just be real. When you're doing a bulk, like a proper bulk, whether it's lean or, well, obviously dirty you will, but even if it's lean, after months and months and months, you are going to gain body fat. You know what I mean? I don't care what anyone says to you about lean bulking. You're going to gain body fat and depending on where your little target areas, like your stubbony bits are, you're going to gain body fat in those areas after consistent seven, almost eight months of bulking. Especially when you have to keep upping the calories. And especially in the, I would say at least the last month, I definitely kind of was a bit more free with the calories. Like I may have jumped them up a little bit more than I, uh, I needed to just because I was enjoying myself. But for the first like six months, I was basically doing it very, very lean. It was very gradual. It was only if you look at my videos, the last month, month and a half, where I started gaining a little bit extra weight because having a bit more fun and not training as much as I, as I technically could have. But I enjoyed it, man. And in honesty, I am not afraid. When we repeat this, I am not afraid to gain a little bit of extra body fat whatsoever. So all these kids and people that are new to lifting that are telling me that when they should be bulking within that, that skinny fat state or just in like the pudgy state or you know what I mean and I'm saying to them bro you shouldn't be cutting because you're really skinny because if you have no muscle mass underneath that body fat you're gonna just look bony and like a skeleton and they're always like oh I don't want to bulk I don't want to gain fat I don't want to whatever I understand it but let me be real if you want to make a considerable difference you got a graft you're not always gonna look great and the reason that I'm not afraid to bulk is for this reason. You've seen the beginning of the video, you saw like the, the year on year comparisons and all that stuff. Did I not look better, better over time? So it was worth it for me to put in that time and actually gain some actual size rather than me just mythically like doing what some people do, like some beginners and like bulk for one month, cut for one month, uh, bulk for another three months, cut for one month, all that up and down basically just spinning your wheels doing nothing I'd rather put the time in try and gain that mass yes I'm gonna look a bit pudgy for a while but when I shred back down like you've seen in the beginning of the video is it not worth it um, but yeah that is just the perspective you need to have you got to think of the bigger picture don't think of oh I want to get shreddy for school in six weeks which is not gonna happen you got to think if you want to look good you got to put that time in to look good which means spend that time in your surplus learn how to train learn how to incrementally improve your diet I've been doing this now for six six plus years now, right? 
and I'm still learning diet things because I'm trying to make it manageable. I can easily do crash diets like certain people do, but I'm specifically trying to find ways and, and meals that I thoroughly enjoy that I know I can keep up with. And every single year I find maybe a new meal or a new little hack that helps me consistently keep on this fitness lifestyle without feel like I'm doing a chore. You know what I mean? If I wanted to really be super, super on it and super strict and go in a super deficit and eat salads all day and then just eat protein shakes and all that stuff, I could do that. But I know that's not feasible to maintain all the time. So my, my method is to find things that's maintainable that I can change my lifestyle. You know what I mean? There's no point doing following a, a plan that you know you're not going to follow after the 12 weeks is up or wherever it is. It's got to be your lifestyle. It's got to be how am I going to do this? Like, you got any plan you start when it comes to fitness, you've got to say, can I do this in a year? Can I do this in two years? Can I do this in three years? If the answer is yes to at least one of those questions, you do it. Realistically, it should be a yes to all of them because then you know it's a proper lifestyle you can maintain. But yeah, man, that's just a lot of talking. I know, uh, uh, but anyway, I said I was going to make these videos raw anyway. So if I need to get something off my head, I get it off my head. Anyways, people, I'm going to go to the gym and get back home because right now <laughs> it's almost 11 p.m. So it's pretty late. Thank you for listening. If you did, please hashtag cutting, cutting vibe, man. Cutting vibes. Actually, it would be better if I actually ended this video on the way into it's the 22nd of March and I started the 3rd of March around 184 pounds. Let's see what I'm at. So people, as you guys saw, we're 108-ish pounds right now, so that's like almost four pounds down. So let's just keep the progress continuing, man. If you like this video, please give it a nice thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next vlog, so I'm obviously showing the, uh, the cutting journey. And we're going to get more deep diving into like, you know, food, training, cardio. I do have a full guide on that, as I've mentioned already. Stay tuned for the videos, man. And enjoy. See you the next one.